Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Caitlin Earhart and I will be your MC for today's talent talk. I'm joined today by some of our amazing staff to discuss the nursing and allied health culture at Slidell Memorial Hospital, their different career paths, divisions of the hospital, and the career opportunities available to those that would like to join this fantastic team. I would like to take this time to allow our panelists to introduce themselves and share a little bit about the work that they do at Slido Memorial Hospital. We'll start with Jen, then Keisha, then Lisa, and then Ray. Hi, I'm Jennifer Berger. I'm the Director of Business Development at SMH. My department includes communication, advertising, public relation, and community outreach. So everything from patient education, working with the media to social media. Hello, my name is Keisha Gann. I'm the Director of Pharmacy here at Slattle Memorial Hospital and also the PGY1 Pharmacy Residency Director. I've been a pharmacist for 12 years. Hello, my name is Lisa Riso. I'm the director at SMH Regional Cancer Center. Our cancer center consists of an infusion suite where the patients receive their chemotherapy, radiation department, two physician practices, as well as administrative staff that consist of social worker, financial assistance, and billing um, patients. Hi, I'm Ray Balser. I'm the director of the emergency department at uh, Slot Memorial Hospital. Um, I have a 14 year nursing career that started as an ER tech over at Oshner West Bank. Um, I actually started over there through their summer nurse tech program, which we also have over here at Slot Memorial Hospital, which I highly recommend. Um, I worked over my career at uh, Oshner Baptist, Oshner West Bank, um, and I've, I've really worked my way up through different positions from a tech, um, you know, from a nurse, nurse nursing leader and then um, nurse manager to a uh, um, nursing director over here at Sonoma Memorial Hospital. And I'm over um, the entire um, nursing division for the um, emergency services over here. Um, so overall operations for the emergency department. Thank you all for those great little introductions. We also have with us today, Heather Robert. Heather is a senior clinical recruiter in our talent acquisition department who will share with us the entry-level positions that will help you join the staff at SMH with a minimal experience, as well as everything you need to know about applying for a job at Slato Memorial Hospital. So we're really excited to hear what Heather has to share with us. So let's get started. Slido Memorial Hospital serves several communities in the North Shore and from South Mississippi. Before we jump into questions, Jen, tell us a little bit more about SMH as an employer, um, the locations, the areas you serve, and the overall culture of the hospital. Sure, SMH is a full service hospital with an emergency room, a heart center, a cancer center, an imaging center, and several doctor's offices that cover all types of specialties from primary care to um, subspecialties. SMH and Auctioner work together through a long-term agreement that basically means these two hospitals in Slidell share services, employees, and resources, and it's to better meet the needs of our community and to keep care local so you don't have to travel far to get high quality health care. As an employer, we have about 1,500 team members. It sounds like a lot, but you really get to work with people from all backgrounds and you get to know your coworkers like family. Thanks for that overview, Jen. Um, I want to touch on some different career paths and how you ended up at Slato Memorial Hospital, as well as learn about some of uh, our different divisions and what makes them so unique. So let's start with Ray. Can you tell us a little bit about why you chose uh, nursing as your career and what are some of the benefits for a career in nursing? Yeah, sure. Um, so I chose nursing as my career path um, because I just I really wanted to help people. Um, realized that at a young age, especially when I was in college. Um, and, you know, I figured the, the quickest way that I could get into helping people was in the nursing profession. Um, you see patients every day, every day that you're here, you're, you're around people and you have the ability to do, you have the, the ability to do just that. Um, at Slotta Memorial Hospital, we have a bunch of different career paths um, that you can take and a bunch of different entry level positions, really, like for someone who is in the high school age. Um, we hire people right out of high school that are in going into college as uh, nurse techs, nurse extenders, um, you know, 
we start talking to them and they get to see different career roles that are all over the organization. Um, you know, they get to see the nursing profession live of it actually happening and they get to expand on their skills while they're doing that and learn if this is the career that they really want to take. Um, there's also a bunch of different roles in the hospital. It's not just nursing. Um, you know, within the different divisions, there's inpatient settings and then there's outpatient settings. I'm over an outpatient setting, which is the emergency room, but there's inpatient settings too, like the med search floors, there's the ICU, um, there's the cath lab. Um, so there's a bunch of different areas within the hospital um, that also employs people and not just, not just the emergency room. Um, in these areas, there's also allied health professionals and careers that people can choose. Um, and, you know, they, they, they do things like surgical techs, um, x-ray techs, they have, um, they have monitor techs, they have um, CT technicians, MRI, a bunch of different uh, things that isn't just nursing. Um, so once you kind of start the career and, you know, you start getting into the um, health field, you get to kind of see all of these positions that are out there and all of these different paths that you can take. So it isn't just nursing. Um, it's not just that's, that isn't the only thing that's in healthcare, if that makes sense. Um, there's plenty of different opportunities, and Slotta Memorial Hospital offers a lot of that. Thank you so much, Ray. That was a great, great description. Um, now, Lisa, you're a registered nurse and the director of the SMH Cancer Center. Will, will you tell me a little bit about your career path and how you ended up working in the Cancer Center? Well, just as Ray was just talking about different career paths, I, when I was a senior in high school, I actually worked at McDonald's, but I knew I wanted to do, uh, I wanted to be in medicine. I didn't have money for college, but I knew that that's what I wanted to do, I wanted to do medicine. So I saw a job posting for a secretary in a physician, primary care physician's office. I applied for it, I actually went to the interview got the job to my surprise, uh, worked in uh, a physician's office for like seven years doing different things, billing. You can move around in an office as well. I've answered telephones, did billing, did authorizations for tests, uh, was a receptionist, put myself back through nursing school, uh, started nursing school at 25 because that's when I can afford to do it. Got into nursing school, found my love for oncology in nursing school. When I got out of nursing school, I went into uh, an oncology practice, worked as a staff nurse, worked as an infusion nurse. Then I went on to do the um, nurse navigator position, and now I'm the director. So I've been through different areas of uh, healthcare within a physician practice. And, you know, you, you, you just find something that interests you and then just go after it. You know, just just do your best to go after it. We we have different types of clinics that uh, SMH Oshner has. We have primary care clinics. We have pulmonology, cardiology, orthopedics. So anything that interests you, you can find something to do in that in that area with certifications, uh, with degrees or without. So it's very important to look for something that you really want to do and then just go after it. Thank you so much for sharing, Lisa. Um, you had such a unique path. Uh, it's getting where you are today. Now, Jen, you've been with SMH for some time now. How long has it been? And as a non-clinical employee, why did you choose healthcare and how does your role support patients? Yes, I've been at SMH for 12 years now. Um, I didn't intend on going into the healthcare industry, and I really didn't intend on staying this long in the job. Um, I started off as a public and community relations representative, um, moved on to be a public and community relations specialist, and then now I'm the director. Um, but I love healthcare because it brings something different every single day. Uh, before here, I started in marketing, communications, and public relations, and that's still what I do here at the hospital. What is rewarding to me is the feeling of making a difference. Um, I may not be a nurse or a doctor, but I'm doing my part to help both patients and employees get information and connecting them with resources. Um, on that note, there are so many jobs that still have a great impact on caring for our community. 
but that don't involve direct patient care. So you have facilities maintenance, scheduling, food services, IT accounting. Um, as Lisa and Ray both shared, there's so many areas. Uh, you have education and training, so many things that you can do. Um, and our hospital couldn't function without these services. There are so many things that you can go into. If you think you're good at something or you like a certain subject, there's probably a place for you here. Thanks so much, Jen, for that insight. Now, Keisha, you're the director of pharmacy, which impacts so many people who come into the hospital. You know, many people are familiar with doctors and nurses working in the hospital, but what are other roles like yours that impact patients? Thank you so much. As far as pharmacy is concerned, if you're like I was before I went to pharmacy school, all you think about are the pharmacists and the pharmacy technicians that you see in, you know, Walgreens, CVS, those sorts of stores. Um, when I went to pharmacy school, we had an introductory to pharmacy course. And in that course, we learned that pharmacists work in all different types of settings. Um, teaching at the pharmacy school, working in clinics, providing services for diabetes, um, anticoagulation, cholesterol, those sorts of things, working for the FDA. So learned a lot, a lot about all the different things that pharmacists can do. I also used to teach middle and high school math prior to going to pharmacy school. So for me, the best thing at the time was I wanted to be a professor. So I actually did that for five years before changing career paths and coming to Slide Memorial as a clinical pharmacist. Then I progressed to being director of pharmacy and I've been doing this for about two years. I've learned a lot here at Slide Memorial, um, kinda as was mentioned, right? We have all these other roles outside of medicine and nursing. We work closely with respiratory therapy, providing the medications for the patients. We also have dietitians here who we work with when we provide um, IV nutrition to patients. We have speech, we have physical therapy, occupational therapy, lab. We work with lab and we work with drug levels and we're working on adjusting people's medications. And then we have imaging. They do right our CT scans, our MRIs, our x-rays, our ultrasounds. So we have a wide variety of positions here that support our doctors and our nurses. Thank you so much, Keisha. Uh, what's apparent to me in our conversation is just how passionate each of you are about your jobs and about Slidell Memorial Hospital. What's behind this passion and what keeps you so excited to come to work every day? Uh, Ray, let's start with you. I think for me, my big passion uh, behind our job over here at Slidell Memorial Hospital is um, it's, it's unique, right? Like so. We're a community hospital over here um, in this small community of Slidell. And, um, you know, we have the opportunity to provide a service here at this hospital that's it's mandatory, it's needed for the community. And my goal is to have my staff ready to respond with the highest level of nursing care to take care of the acutely ill in their own communities. So most of my staff is from the area. They're either from, you know, Slidell area or the Gulf Coast. So they live in the community that we're providing for. They're able to take care of their friends and family in, in our department. Um, and it's a unique thing that causes us to have our staff care so deeply about our patients that they're here doing the best job that they can every day. Um, so, you know, my goal is really when we come in every day is that we're providing the highest level of nursing care that we can uh, for this community. And, um, you know, it, it's a really unique, it's a, it's a unique area because everyone um, doesn't really expand outside of this community. Thank you so much, Ray. Uh, Keisha, how about you? Very similar to Ray. The community here is awesome. A lot of people who work here have gone to school with people who they may see as patients, people who they work with. Also in pharmacy, we're able to help our patients directly in certain positions, like we have clinical pharmacists who go to the floors, they talk to patients about their medications. 
We also have in Ray's department, our medication history technicians who when patients come in, they make sure they get a complete medication history so that information can be used to provide the best care for them. And also we have, of course, our inpatient technicians and our inpatient pharmacists who work really hard to make sure that patients get safe, accurate medication and they consult regularly with doctors and nurses. And very importantly, I know, especially on Ray's side, right, in a timely manner, so we can make sure that they get the best care. Um, I also like the fact that we are, in our department, very diverse. And that's not just when you're looking at cultures, but also span of career. We have someone who's been here for 40 years, and we have people who have just started their career in pharmacy. So you get a wide variety of information from different aspects, which I really love that here. Also, we are working on as a institution, a diversity inclusion committee. I'm very excited about that. Um, it's in its infancy stages, but we're working to get it up and together and involve as many people who are interested. And we're definitely gonna work on education and also celebration of our differences. Thank you so much, uh, both of you for sharing um, the passion. You can really just tell um, from each of you, how passionate you are about Slida Memorial Hospital. Um, it's been mentioned time and time again today, the wonderful culture and the team um, that we have at Slida Memorial Hospital. Lisa, describe your ideal team member. Well, my ideal team member would be a person who is eager to learn, empathy for patients, definitely a team player. You know, a lot of things you can teach, but things like that you cannot teach empathy for other people, whether you're in, I'm in oncology, the cancer center, of course, you want to show empathy and compassion to patients who are fighting for their lives. But throughout the hospital, at any division, I mean, you're dealing with patients daily, on a daily basis that you need to show your empathy and show them that you want to be there to help them, that it's not just a job, it's, it's a, a passion, and you want to be there. And I think at SMH, you get that family feel and you, you know that your fellow coworkers are there to stand with you and be beside you. Um, that's definitely a person that I'm looking for when I interview. I'm looking for someone who wants to be here. They're, they're excited to be here. They wanna help others. Training, we can train, we can train people, but that passion, you can't train. I completely agree. Um, all of our panelists have shared their love of SMH and have inspired us to find a way to join the team. So Heather, can you share with us some of the entry level opportunities at SMH and how to apply for a job? Um, thank you to the panelists who have mentioned several of these positions uh, during their conversations. Uh, we do have a lot of entry level positions, um, patient facing such as text, nursing assistants. A lot of people who are looking for a nursing career um, tend to get into those roles, uh, which will help you know, assist getting into nursing school, as well as give you hands-on experience that you may not um, very well get in nursing school. We also have non-patient facing positions, such as administrative positions, admins, um, patient care techs, HR positions. And um, a lot of these positions are for graduating high school seniors. If you want to apply to a position, first go to slidellmemorial.org, click on join our team and see all the positions. Then you can search for specific titles or you can just search through the job listings to find your appropriate fit. Thanks so much. And Heather, can you give us some tips for applying to help us get considered for a job? Yes, make sure that you're applying for positions that you qualify for, such as if a position requires a certain degree or certification that you're not applying for those type of positions, uh, be sure to list all of your previous positions, um, including anything in retail or customer service, completely fill out all sections of your application. If you do have an updated resume, please attach that as well. And make sure to watch your emails and phone calls to be able to respond to recruiters requesting to discuss the positions with you. And also we are offering uh, the opportunity to tour the hospital 
um, and you can go through our human resources department to schedule that. Thank you so much, Heather, for all of that insight. Um, this has been such a wonderful conversation and it's been very enlightening. It's been great to hear insights from this group. I wanna thank all of our Slato Memorial Hospital panelists uh, for this conversation and for sharing your love of SMH. Uh, for anyone interested in learning more about career opportunities with Slido Memorial Hospital, you can go to www.slidomemorial.org slash careers. Thank you all uh, for joining us today. Hope you have a great day.